Hello everyone, in this lecture we will study about MOSFET thermal noise. Moist, most transistors also exhibit thermal noise and the most significant source is the noise generated in the channel. For long channel, MOS devices operating in situation, the channel noise can be modeled by a current source connected between the drain and the source terminal with a spectral density of ion square equals to 4 kT gamma gm. This is very important. While threading this MOSFET, uh, we will uh, take this into the consideration. Finding out any gain and anything, we will always consider that the noise is given by 4 kT gamma gm. Okay. And this gamma is equal to 2 by 3 for long channel transistor. We can substitute the value of gamma over here. Okay, and this can be a large value for some micron MOSFETs. You can also assume gamma is equal to 1. But here in this case, we will always take gamma is equal to 2 by 3. Okay, here it is shown over here that the, for MOS transistor, how this noise spectral density is taken into account and how we can find the output noise voltage as well that is vn square equals to ion square r naught which can be given as 4 kt gamma gm r naught square okay now the ohmic section of a mosfet also contributes thermal noise as illustrated in this figure the gate source drain also exhibit finite resistivity, therefore introducing noise. And for a relatively wide transistor, the source and drain resistance is typically negligible. Okay, whereas we can say that the gate distributed resistance may become noticeable. Okay, so if we have constructed the noise model, you can see over here, a lumped resistor R1 represents the distributed gate resistance and viewing the overall transistor and the distributed structure, which is shown over here in figure C. We observe that the unit transistor near to the left, unit transistor near the left end, see the noise of only a fraction of RG. But where you can see the those having at the right end and see the noise most of RG. Okay. So we expect that lumped register in the noise model to be less than Rg. So we can prove that R1 is equal to Rg upon 3. And noise generated by gate resistance is typically what we have taken that Vn square Rg due to Rg is equal to 4 kT Rg by 3. Okay. Now, how we can reduce this thermal noise? Thermal noise can only be controlled by GM, that is the transconductance. The effect of RG can be reduced by proper layout. Okay, shown in figure below, the two examples. In figure A, the two ends of the gates are shorted by a metal line. This is the metal line. And thus, reducing the distributed resistance from RG to RG by 4. Okay, this is the resistance. And this is reduced to Rg by 4. Alternatively, in this figure B, the transistor can be folded so that each gate finger, this finger, exhibits a resistance of Rg by 2. Thus, the integral distributed resistance of Rg by 4 for the composite transistor. So this is the folding technique. And this is adding contacts to both sides. So this is basically done to reduce the gate resistance, which will reduce the thermal noise. So this is all about the thermal noise in MOSFET, which is given by simply 4 kT gamma gm. Okay. And gamma is taken to the 2 by 3 for long devices. Okay. And to reduce the gate resistance, we can metal cap each end of the gate or we can fold the uh, device. So this is all about the MOSFET thermal noise. In the next lecture, 
we will study about the flicker mice. Thank you.